hello there welcome into sage sunset healing tarot thank you so much for being here ken so we're going to be taking a look into your finances for your seven days ahead going to look at what's coming up for you financially having to do with career your business taking off or not <laughs> Sorry, what work you're doing. Some of you are starting a new business here with the Ten of Wands energy. Something new. Could be a new idea that you're working on with the Eight of Pentacles energy. Watch this. Oh my gosh. All right, so we have the Ace of Wands. Something new coming through. We have the Sun card. It came out in the reverse. Um... But it's still, it's still success and abundance and joy. So I feel like you're going to be prosperous in your business ventures for your week. Cancerian. Wow. Mm -hmm. I think this wanted to stay. I feel like you're going to be prosperous. I feel something coming in sturdily. Something that's going to cause you to find this financial balance. Because the 12 pentacles feels like financial imbalance sometimes imbalance in how you feel because remember that when you feel good you have more to give right or you feel m good about giving more of yourself you want to put yourself out there so i feel like something is going to come in through to you that's going to cause you to find more stability a re reinstatement and statement reinstatement a statement a declaration proof of clarity Maybe some of you are writing, possibly dealing with something legal here that's going to come through for you. It could be payment from another source. We have another sword energy. This is my Gone with the Wind fabulous card here. Cancer, and I feel like things will be working out for you swiftly. This could be some something coming in me mechanically, uh, ATM energy. So that's, that's what's coming in for some of you within the week. And it could be coming through because of a business idea i can i feel like i can almost see this set up here it feels like a business idea that you have it's set up already maybe it's online i don't feel like you are believing that this is paying off for you as if it's that energy where it's been in the background working out for you. That's the energy I'm feeling. And then some, some, something is coming through. It does feel like payments because of work that you've been doing. I feel like you have been working on this creation. Something you do creatively. And then it's, it could be like blogging, writing, writing energy, creative writing. Something of that sort blessings we have the three of swords maybe it's something that you felt let down about in the past all right so let's continue we're going to do another shuffle and see if we can get more clarifications mm -hmm. cancer and remember that while you're here hit that subscribe button thank you like and share with those that you love And let us hope to find amazing messages regarding your financial situation for this week coming up. All right, let us get started. So you're working. I feel like you're working. You're very skillful, very creative. You're putting in the work. You will know what it is that you want to create. It could be a business idea. And you're actually putting in the effort to manifest it. It's coming into fruition. Well, it could be something that you use your intuition to do, Cancer. And we have the High Priestess energy here. So I feel like you are starting a business. With the Three of Pentacles energy, I feel like it's a, it's a business that it, it feels already grounded. So it's already off the ground. You're working on it. People are actually viewing your work. You, I feel like you're good at something and maybe you don't realize what it is and that it's actually reaching to people that actually love and appreciate what it is that you do you're still working on it but it's like you're not expecting a, so yeah it feels like uh, it, it, the blessing will come in unexpectedly through this source 
and with the high priestess energy i'm saying it's something that you use your intuition to do but i feel the energy that maybe you need to trust trust some more some more in it and look at you queen of cups coming out here i feel like you can learn how to trust yourself just keep on going keep on being who you are yes i believe trust in who you are your nurturing energy with the queen of cups your emotional gentle soft side um your intuitiveness pairing the queen of cups energy with the high priestess card your intuition your your wisdom your grace your mind your heart uh your water energy your moon energy so that's definitely your intuition i love seeing the high priestess and the queen of cups because it does feel like a very powerful cancerian energy I feel like some of you could be going back to school or this is you learning more about yourself, about your gifts here. It feels like you're pondering upon or studying your gifts here. You know, we have the four of cups. I feel like some of you could be maybe moving past, moving away from being too open to others and maybe deciding to really focus internally on yourself your glow up your stand up your come up your come back moments um i feel like you're depending on you coming through for yourself you're counting on yourself more and not really focusing on what it is that others do or feel outside of you you're i, I feel like you're consulting with yourself more than with anyone else especially with the high priestess here and the four of cups this energy feels like consulting more with yourself than with any external source really trusting in your own intuition and your own emotions to guide you forth in this venture this business venture right some of you could be leaving some offers behind you and really deciding to trust in your heart as if I feel it is saying don't drink the Kool-Aid energy here as if don't, you know, don't do what the masses are doing because because this feels like some some things might be coming into you, some offers, something that you wanted, maybe a business offer. And you know it's not in your heart what it is, you know, it's not what you want to do. So it's saying you don't have to follow the crowd or drink the Kool-Aid. You can really trust in your own heart to guide you or to take you to where you need to be in this manifestation of abundance for yourself coming up all right oh my gosh yes look at this the manifestation of abundance this is the ace of cups i just feel like maybe we would be jumping more for joy if it was the ace of pentacles because that's money energy that's abundance but the ace of cups is emotional abundance it's newness it's also feeling refreshed and when you're refreshed you're ready to receive you're ready to start over to start anew to embrace something new coming into you this could be you refusing the the offer that wasn't good for you and going ahead to take the one that feels more connected to something that is divine in you. Do you see this? As if I feel like you might go with something that's more grounding or more close to your heart. More from the universe perspective. Because this is a blessing. This is a gift. This is, I feel like this is how you want to feel. Abundance within yourself. Not holding on to anything, being happy, overflowing, and that's the energy that you wish to embody. I feel like that's what you're focusing on mostly, right? We have the page of wands. Hmm. Yes! I, I Listen, oh yes, it is actually in the right place because this is telling me that it is here already with you this abundance this ace of pentacles that we wanted to see come out and it is here um this is abundance i feel like 
if you could be getting a promotion or getting a job getting orders some some business prosperity and success and pairing it with the three of cups energy which is celebration happiness joy manifesting around you see that that celebrating that's being happy you know sharing with friends people you care about here about something that has come in this amazing blessing what it look like it looks like money it looks like feeling good feeling valuable here in yourself I feel like in the future you may encounter something from the past and it is still in a state in which in I'll go I'll clarify this it is still as it is I'll clarify that later right working setting up I feel like you'll be getting you'll be receiving some some financial abundance or stability here that will start to help you to set up some something that you're working on right something that you're working on manifesting a business it could be deciding to go ahead trust in yourself and follow your heart on your journey to start this business we have the five of pentacles on the bottom of the decanserian i feel like this is beautiful we're going to clarify for you the page of wands and the two of wands energy it does feel like maybe a, a, an offer a business offer from the past i want to re and th there's success for you right now some of you could be receiving no it's, I feel like it's something having to do with a business and it's it's slowly coming through with the, the Knight of Pentacles energy. But it's sure to come through. That's it. It does not move quickly, but it is sure to manifest for you. And it's in your energy field already. That's what I'm seeing here. I feel like this could be money that you're using to maybe invest or set up or, you know, really set, continue to set up your business that you're working on. Up here this creative business I feel like you may be um, you may be trying to grow your business so invest more in it to build your business up maybe some of you are single right now some of you could be parents already we're not taking these are deciding to walk away from a relationship or a situation ship that was not serving you well to really focus on getting clear within your heart space yes focusing really I feel like you're embodying a queen of swords energy here and it's coming from a place of of love within yourself that you have found somehow the energy of the Queen of Cups that's focusing here I feel like it's the energy of the Queen of Swords that focuses intently on what it is that they want. I feel like if you're not in that energy now, Cancerian, that's how you need to be like a soldier, militant right now in order to come to your highest state of focused ability. That's the energy to help you to train or garner, train your mind to, to see to see clearly or to bring into focus to believe or to manifest what it is that you want to bring into your experience you know I feel like you do have that gift within you to do that all right so we're going to leave your reading here thank you so much for being here cancer and I do hope you found messages here that inspire you and is able to help you along your journey if you did like this video and share it with those that you love thank you so much for watching and subscribe to my channel for future videos remember cancer and that you can be do have everything and anything you desire because you're all and all is within you much love thank you so much for your support and i'll see you next time bye